In today's video, I will be suffering through God of War 3 PlayStation Trophy. I just want to say to make sure you leave a like, subscribe and leave a comment down below. That will help the channel grow. After defeating the first face of Poseidon, we entered Gaia's Heart, which I got my first collectible item of many more to come. Yes sir! Yes, 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 sir. yes sir! Straight after leaving Gaia's Heart, we went back into action, smashing a few more times Poseidon. I got you, homie! When Kratos got his hand on Poseidon, he did what he's good at. Get him up, let him get up, let him get up, let him get up. After Kratos released some of his anger on Poseidon, we unlocked our first trophy. Releasing the floodgates. After achieving our first trophy, Gaia betrayed us, letting us fall all the way to the bottom, making Kratos lose all of his powers. <laughs> For the following trophy, I needed the boy of Apollo. To acquire the item, I had to burn Pietas. Hades. He sentenced me to this eternal torture. My prison of tinder. Now that you First of all, I had to open the gate to release the beast inside, then kill all the enemies around and burn Pyrthus. By doing that, we would unlock the trophy burn to a crisp. Yes, On the same place, by upgrading any weapon, you would unlock the trophy cooled hitting your stride. Right after Kratos entered a small cave, we unlocked the truth with Mr. Hand. Then we faced one of the main bosses in the game, Hades. The fight wasn't too difficult, just had to smash him a couple times until he gave up the Bident. This trophy is pretty simple. You just had to grab the enemy and rip them apart. Then Gaia tried to become friends with Kratos again, but Kratos didn't want to hear it. Kratos, with all his accuracy, calmness and composure, he hit Helios midair, helping the Titan to grab him. So Kratos followed where Helios has been thrown, and once again he did what he's good at. With Helios' death, we unlocked the trophy Shiny Lord. We also unlocked Shoot, Delivery, Sibling Rivalry, and this is my best trophy so far, ladies man. Ladies man, yes sir. For this trophy, Kratos had to kill three mystical horses that you find throughout the game. Also, at this huge gate, we unlocked a new trophy called Open Sisima, and at this place, there is one more trophy. I'm going to come back here and get it towards the end. All after Kratos has done to the Titans and Gods so far, Kronos decided to challenge us, and guess what happened to him? Yes, Kratos put him in a spliff, killing him and unlocking one more trophy the Titan Slayer. The live breath challenge, it took me 5 to 10 business days to figure out what to do and where to go, but in the end I was able to crack the puzzle and get the trophy, seeing things from a different perspective. For the freezer burn trophy, you get by playing the game, so it doesn't matter what you do, you will eventually get it. We also unlocked Rescue Me, which I had to save Pandora and the three wise men that I had to break the chains of Olympus and fly up to fight Zeus for the final battle. After Kratos and Zeus had their little argument, they got straight into fighting. And guess what happened? Kratos absolutely destroyed Zeus once again. Kratos had the option to save Pandora or fight Zeus once again, and guess what he chose? Don't listen to her, Kratos. For once in your pathetic life, don't fail. Don't fail her like you failed your family. When I thought things couldn't get worse, Gaia got involved, but Kratos and Zeus was able to escape. Wee! Wee! 
but Kratos was able to come on top by killing Gaia and Zeus at once. Well, that's what I thought. After thinking Kratos killed Zeus, his spirit popped up to put an end to this fight. But Kratos, the best soldier that has ever lived, the ghost of Sparta, the man, the myth, the legend, wasn't going to give up on his revenge. After beating Zeus so many times, we unlocked a one more trophy. Long story short, Athena tried to convince Kratos to give her the power of hope, but Kratos didn't want to give her shit, saying that his revenge is over. Then Athena got pissed off. While she was pissed off, Kratos picked up the blade of Olympus and killed himself, releasing the evil into the world. You disappoint me, Spartan. My name is Jeff. Kratos' death, we unlocked. Vengeance complete. Congratulations! Congratulations! Does this mean I should celebrate for completing the game? Not yet. Once I completed the game, I went back to get all the secret chests to unlock the Feather Planka, Horn of Plenty, and Eye Candy. Each one of the magic items have a specific meaning. The Phoenix Feather upgrades magic. The Minotaur Horn increases the yellow bar. And the Golden Eye upgrades health. To unlock the Hitman Trophy, you need to achieve a 1000 hit combo. The easiest way to do that is by going to the gaze of Tisphany. To make sure that happens, you need to have the claw of Hades and go by the door. The enemies won't be able to hit you, but you will be able to hit them, making the challenge easy to achieve. Yes, sir, as you can see, just done the achievement. It's pretty simple. On my way to collecting all the trophies, I also did Soul Dial, which I had to summon every soul with the claw of Hades. Before I continue the video, if you like and subscribe, you will have 10 years of good luck. Continuing the trophy hand, we headed to the Chamber of Flame, which are three trophies to unlock here. First one is the Night Stand, having to blind 100 enemies with the head of Helios. Second trophy is deliver 50 kicks, which are going to be done at the same place. And the third trophy is to burn 100 enemies with the bow of Apollo. As you can see, I got enough um, orbs to upgrade to max out everything. So, yes, sir. Trophy achieved, maxed out. After collecting all the story trophies and most of the missing ones, it's time to relax, you might think. There was four trophies that would take 30 hours of my life and several tries. The first trophy I will be going after is Priceless, which I had to collect all the godly possessions. Thankfully, throughout the game, I collected most of them. There was only one that was missing, which was the Hermes coin. And by finding the last one, we unlocked Priceless. And now the suffering was almost over, you might think. Absolutely not, because the next challenge I had to beat the game all over again, but in the most difficulty, Titan mode. Does this mean I have to play the game again from the beginning? Well, not really, because there is a glitch that you can skip the whole gameplay towards the end, and I'm going to leave the link below to whoever is struggling with this trophy. But before you can do the Unhuman Trophy, you have to complete up to the challenge, which is a pain in the ass. There are seven challenges and some of them are absolutely garbage. 
I actually only recorded one of them, which I had to kill all the enemies without using any weapons. But showing them who is daddy, we unlock two more trophies up to the challenge and the human. And my last missing trophy was a maze, which I had to beat the library without dying or falling. Once I completed that, we unlocked the king of the hill, which was the last trophy. Yes, my people, so if you like the video, make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And next game I'm going to be playing is Red Dead Redemption. And I'm going to be doing the platinum as well. I'm currently finishing the GTA San Andreas, so I'll be posting the platinum that real soon. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. See you guys next episode. Peace.